Okay, so I decided to take off my extension table because I wanted to try doing it with this going around the free arm and I find it easier. So I thought I'd make another video to show you how to do that. So I'm going to put this like this and what I said before is that I've decided to just do the zigzag stitch instead of that lightning bolt stitch I talked about because it's much faster. Um, so now that I've got this here, I'm going to pull that pin out and I've got both hands because I've got Rob here holding the camera for me. I'm going to put the needle down and I'm going to lift this up and level the foot by pushing this button in and putting it down again so that the back is the same height as the thickness of that seam. Now if you don't have a shimming button, you can take um, like a pack of needles if it's the right thickness and don't go back so you might hit that just to level the foot. But if you have a button like this, that is what it's for. It's to shim that level okay now what I'm gonna do is you see the line here that's the line this is gonna get folded to this time I only pinned it at each of the seams because what I figured I can just go like this and get that matching the line now sometimes when you're going through that thick part go a little slower and you may have to give it a little push or go right back here and pull on it okay now again I'm trying to have this match up with in this slot here because I don't want to sew right off the edge of that hem. Okay, so I'm going to go like this. And I know it's kind of loud. I realized when I watched my last video that I, I um, had done myself, the machine, that you could barely hear me talk. So I'm going to go like this now that I've gone part way, and I'm going to look at the line in here again, and I'm going to pinch it and put it right there. Now remember, I'm not going to stretch it when I sew. I'm just going to let it feed in. This, this hand is just making sure it stays folded to that line that I made with my friction marker. Then again here, I'm going to go like that. Now I'm coming up to this thicker part where there's two layers here, two layers there. You know, there's a lot of layers here, about eight layers. So I'm going to lift this up and push this button in and shim the foot. And that button will pop out when the foot is level. Just popped out. Okay. Now I'm going to go over here and pinch it so it's folded to that line that I drew. I'm going to keep going around. And, um, you know, after you make about 30 or 40 or 50 of these hats, you kind of come up with what is the most efficient way to do this, you know. Now, you can pin as much as you want if you prefer to pin. What I was doing on hats just before this that I was pinning, I was putting the pins in sideways, pointing counterclockwise around the band, so I could, I could just have the pins over here and sew next to them. You know, you'll just have to see what works for you. Okay, so now that I'm done there, I'm just overlapping the original stitching. I'm going to show one more thing. Okay, Rob, so I know your thumb's getting ready to push the stop button. I'm going to cut these threads. Okay, um, and I want to turn the hat. Now, one way to get these points to go out really easily is I'm going to stick my thumb in here. So it, it's like putting on tights or stockings. I'm going to crunch it up and put all that fabric between my thumb and my first finger in that little valley there. I'm going to take and just press, fold that over and pinch it. I'm going to pinch it together and it's like I'm saying, okay, and I'm going to keep my finger and thumb pinched together and I'm going to bring all the fabric from my thumb to over my finger and it makes the corner come out really nicely and you don't have to try and poke at it with anything. So again, I'm going to crunch this up like I'm putting on tights. I'm going to take and have all the fabric bunched up between my first finger and my thumb. I'm going to fold the seam allowance over, pinch it like I'm saying, okay. I'm going to take all the fabric as I keep it pinched together, bring it up over my finger and my finger is going to push that corner out really nicely and then you've got your hat and it's all done. Thank you.